Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. You're welcome to another edition of the Pathway to Jannah, your number one Ramadan TV show. You know how we do it. We have varieties of amazing content lined up for you. It's the month of the Ramadan, the month of the Quran. You know, we have the kitchen segment, the Muslimas Delight, where we give you amazing recipes. And we have brand new recipes for you. So I'm even talking about the Muslimas Delight. Eh? I'm thirsty. Let me take some water. Okay, so before I take you to the kitchen segment, I'm going to leave you with Quran recitation. Listen to the sonorous voice of Quran recitation. While I take my water, I'll see you soon, inshallah.
يعلمون ما تفعلون إن الأبرار لفي نعيم وإن الفجار لفي جحيم يصلونها يوم الدين وما هم عنها بضائبين Ramadan teaches us how also to cultivate self-control, self-denial, deny yourself food, but give out to those who cannot afford to eat, to break their fast. Let's give out generously. Some people use religion now as a political weapon. That should not be. Quran respects Judaism, their own Torah, and Quran are very close, one brotherhood. There are differences, of course, the fundamental one is about, is about God being one. Kul huwa lau ahad, lau samad, lam yalid, wa lam yulad, wa lam yakulau kulfan nahad. That's the major difference. But don't let us bring religion into politics. Deliciously creamy with all the goodness of Vitarich. That's how we've made the new Cowbell Evaporated Milk. Cowbell Evaporated Milk. Evaporated just for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're welcome to our cooking section on the show. Today we'll be baking you some delicious vanilla cake. Begin our recipe. We would need to measure out some margarine. 250 grams of margarine. Almost there. So we have to always follow the measurement. Yes, you have to, to get the accurate. to get a consistent result. Okay, you need to okay. measure. It's not like cooking where you can spirit okay. and just <laughs> use your instinct and the access when, to when, when, when the spirits tell you stop, you <laughs> stop. You stop. <laughs> For this, you have to measure. So okay, what's that you're adding? That's two fifty grams of margarine already in the mixing bowl. Okay, now I'm going to add. 120 grams or 125 grams thereabout of sugar. Okay. Half the measure of the margarine. margarine. Okay. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to cream, that is mix until fluffy. All right. The, the margarine, margarine and the sugar. And the sugar. Typically what happens when you do that is that it changes color. It okay. starts at a deep yellow, and then by the time you mix, you know you're incorporating air mm. and getting everything nice and soft and fluffy. It ends up looking more like ice cream. Ice cream. So okay. that's the consistency we're trying to get. Okay. Because it's not a super large quantity, even if it is, sometimes you need to scrape down your bowl 
okay, to be sure that you get everything mixed. Otherwise, you would find a situation where so you finish mixing and, and then, then the you want to turn it out and it's staring at you <laughs> deep <laughs> yellow at the yeah. bottom of the bowl. Okay. So, so now what are you using to mix it? This is a spatula. Is it's made of... This one is a spatula. This is a spatula. Just that to one is the mixer. That's your stand mixer. There are yeah. different types. There's the type, that's the hand mixer hand that mixer you hold and, and you mix. This is the stand mixer that is more you don't convenient. Need to yourself. So while it's doing its job, you can do other, other things. things exactly. You can move around and talk to the presenter. <laughs> uh -huh. So I don't mean I don't have a mixer. If what you do don't do? have a mixer, then that means you're going to have to use muscle power. Wow. And that to take a lot of time. That'll right? take a lot of time. Okay. And energy. By the time you finish mixing, you might not even tired. feel like eating the cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. As I said, occasional scraping. Okay. So if I'm to use um, manual mixing, yes. if I go through that process, how long will it take me to <gasps> mix it? And what do I use to mix it manually? Uh, manually is straightforward turning stick or omorogo as we call it. So you put your ingredients in the bowl. It's that easy. And you, uh, mix, 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 mix. Oh it's quite... And that would say like an hour or so. It depends on the quantity you're mixing. Okay. If you're mixing a really large quantity, it could take up to an hour. Okay. If it's not so much, then it might not take so long. Okay. I'll take a big as well. Which of them, sir? Which one is the best? Okay. Let's talk biggie. Let's talk 11 flavors so interesting, so unique, you will think they were made just for you. Maybe something rich, exotic even. Big tamarind. Thank you. Okay, let's make sweet even sweeter. Yep, we made a cherry cola. Attitude, please. Thank you. And what if we wanted to make something so amazing we asked nature herself to help. Biggie Ginger Lemon. You can dance now. Or maybe you just want the best. No questions asked. Biggie Cola. So, which one did you want? Summit University of uh, the University of Ansarudin Society of Nigeria. The university has three main colleges. The College of Natural and Applied Sciences, the College of Management and Social Sciences, and the College of Humanities. Here at Summit University, we believe in the triple helix model, which are education, skills, and the most importantly, the moral aspect of it. In my university, you have the privilege to talk to your lecturers comfortably and they explain things you don't understand to you until you understand it. I urge you to join us at Summit University to get the best out of education. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our topic today is Zakat, a tool for fostering love, unity, peace, and brotherhood. Definitely you all agree with me. Like the white man says, a hungry man is an angry man. If you are not hungry, you are okay. You have something that is sustaining you. You have something doing. Then you have a peaceful world. We'll have an egalitarian society. Because it is said that an idle mind is a devil's man's workshop. If you have something to do, definitely uh, you will be at peace with yourself. Your family, you have something to eat, and uh, you have something to take care of your responsibilities. And this is what Zakat has come to do. Zakat is a major tool for wealth redistribution. That is to bridge the gap between the rich and the poor. This is why Allah has established Zakat as a social means of fostering love and unity. If the rich man gives out what is due on his property as Zakat to the Zakat Foundation, the Zakat Foundation will in turn redistribute to the less privileged in the society. The less privileged in the society in turn will collect and definitely pray for those who are donating 
for their welfare and their well-being. They will continue praying for them so that Allah will continue enriching them so that they will continue doing more in bettering the life of the downtrodden in the society. There will be peace of mind. The poor will continue praying for the rich. The rich man will also live in peace. He will not live in fear. That to tomorrow some people will come and harass him and call him because they know they don't need to harass him. He will come and pay their dues. And those who are redistributing will get it across to them and it will be sustainable for them to live in peace. And that is why you see our rich men today build houses with uh, electric to, uh, wire girls with a very strong uh, gate that you cannot open. They don't need this. They don't need it. If they actually take up the responsibility of giving out the due of the poor in their wealth, which is what Allah to, uh, asked for, um, uh, minister to Prophet Muhammad sallam in the Holy Quran say, Khuv min amwalihim sadaqatan tutohiruhum watuzakihim biya. Take from their wealth a portion that is compulsory for them to pay. This will in turn purify their soul and purify their wealth. And when your soul is being purified, you are at peace with your Lord and you are at peace with the poor man. The poor man will always pray for you so that you can have a sustainable uh, growth in your business. And he himself will also have growth. And next time, he will not be among those who will beg. He will also be among those who will give. Therefore, we continue contributing to the capital development in our society. And human development is key to the development of a nation and to the peaceful coexistence of a nation. This is also in line with SDG 17. We are they say it is a means of implementation by revitalizing the sustainable development goal. And the basic uh, principle of these SDGs is to eradicate poverty in our system in the world. And that is the intention of the United Nations. So you see zakat, a principle established by Allah, is also in line with the principle of uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has thought of everything because he's the manufacturer of the world. He created the world and has created a platform where Muslims uh, will cater for one another and also the outer society. Zakat and Sadakat Foundation One sure way to elevate poverty and purify wealth is through regular payment of Zakat. No wonder Zakat and Sadakat Foundation is working day and night to enhance standard of living for all and sundry through economic empowerment, free healthcare delivery, support for widows and orphans, provision of iftar during Ramadan, mosque support. There is also work program through which Zakat and Sadakat Foundation collects donation of land, building, or other property and thereafter invest aid while we use the profit to better the lot of indigent Muslims and the society. Please contact Sutten, Tafar Balewa Square, East Pavilion, Opposite High Court, Lagos Island. Telephone 081-1819-3599 or 080-3538-2911. Website zakatandsadakat.org.ng Zakat and Sadakat Foundation. Caring, creating socio-economic Balance. You welcome to the first Criterion College. Here, you are assured of qualitative, quantitative, Islamic and general education. There is a provision for day and burden with facilities like home away from home. The Quranic memorization program is world class and competes favorably with any other. The recreational activities and psychomotor skills are well entrenched in our educational curriculum for the elder development of your child. The First Criterion College affords you continuous reward when you bring your child to this great citadel of learning for a well-rounded and balanced education laced with morals. Guess what? You stand a chance to get rebate and bonuses if you are among the first 20 to enroll your child into our GSS1. The First Criterion College is located at 6 to 8 Osenia Lagbaje Street off Igbe Road, Ikurudu, Lagos. For more information, visit our website at www.thefirstcriterioncollector.com or call 080-9056-7305. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Make our environment a beautiful place to stay. I am just my daddy for just speaking to you on the topic of discussion today, complementing government efforts. How do we complement government efforts? I know some people will be hungry and say, oh, how do we complement government efforts? Can't government provide all for us? Even when the government provides all sorts of electricity for you, it may be better if you generate your own electricity. So, how can we do that? 
If you live in an isolated area, maybe in a farm or a country home or in a farm settlement where there is no grid connection, why don't you do it yourself? Help yourself. Go for solar. Put up your own energy generation, no matter how small it is. It will save you costs and it will build your productivity. If you are a business owner, it will enhance your business performance. And if you are a government worker, you will definitely be independent of electricity bill. Also, how can we complement government effort? If many of our industries adopt self power generation, it will take some load off our national grid. In that case, more people can use the evacuated power Why those who can afford it adopt the use of solar energy as alternative electricity. How can we do it? We can do it via a number of ways. You can do a self-generation, that is, you buy all the equipment, you install it, and it becomes yours. Or for large organizations, you can do power purchase agreement in which a company will generate the power and you will be paying for it. Another way you can do it is to form a community, form an association. If, let's say, 10 households live within the same region, instead of each house investing their money on individual solar panels, batteries, and inverter, you can do it collectively. You can form a community mini grid. You can form an association mini grid. Put your resources together, share the costs, and share the electricity. With this, we can share the light and shun the darkness. We are located in Port Harcourt. We are also located in Lagos. And we'll soon be coming to other cities in Nigeria. We can come to you. We are local. And we understand your energy needs. Till we come your way another time, this is Ayodeji Adepoyu. Summit University of uh, the University of Ansarudin Society of Nigeria. The university has three main colleges. The College of Natural and Applied Sciences, the College of Management and Social Sciences, and the College of Humanities. Here at Summit University, we believe in the triple helix model, which are education, skills, and the most importantly, the moral aspect of it. In my university, you have the privilege to talk to your lecturers comfortably and they explain things you don't understand to you until you understand it. I urge you to join us at Summit University to get the best out of education. You're welcome to the first Criterion College. Here, you are assured of qualitative, quantitative, Islamic and general education. There is a provision for day and boarding with facilities like home away from home. The Quranic memorization program is world class and competes favorably with any other. The recreational activities and psychomotor skills are well entrenched in our educational curriculum for the healthy development of your child. The First Criterion College affords you continuous reward when you bring your child to this great citadel of learning for a well rounded and balanced education. Laced with morals. Guess what? You stand a chance to get rebate and bonuses if you are among the first 20 to enroll your child into our GSS1. The first criterion college is located at 6 to 8 Osenia Lagbaje Street off Igbe Road, Ikurudu, Lagos. For more information, visit our website at www.thefirstcriterioncollege.com or call 080 7305. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed all those packages that we had we have lined up for you ah how about muslimas delight so you should go and try that to delight yourself and your family okay you see we have some varieties of products from right food this is the quiz segment but before then let's talk about reward for fasting narrated by abu raira ready allow ano the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said every deed of the son of adam is for him, except fasting, which is for me. 
and I shall give reward for it. The importance of fasting can never be overemphasized. Please, let's continue to fast, do all the acts of Ibadah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward us for it. What is the name of the person who calls people for congregational prayers? Yes. If you know the answer, send it to the number showing on your screen. And if you're lucky to be the first person to send the correct answer, you can win from these ranges of gifts that we have right here. No phone call, no beeping, just text message. Tomorrow again, inshallah, we'll be saying, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.